Stephen Dukides didn't think much of it when he recently hopped over a pothole while crossing the street. Well, my knee kind of hyperextends, I slip and try and catch myself with that leg. Well, it pops, uh, I go down and uh, I was on the ground. Turns out Stephen tore his meniscus and underwent surgery to repair it. With rehab, his knee is now getting stronger, but not every doctor would have recommended surgery to repair his meniscus. Some doctors may assume that the heavier a patient is, the more strain there is on the knee and the more likely it is that the surgery will ultimately fail. But a new study is proving that theory wrong. When we looked uh, at the results, patients who had a higher BMI, and we defined a higher BMI as greater than 25, uh, did not have an increased failure rate compared to those who had a a low BMI. Dr. David Flanagan of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center led this study. He followed more than 400 patients for two years after meniscus surgery. He found no difference in success rates of patients if they had a BMI under 25 or up to 35. Flanagan says that proves a patient's weight shouldn't be a major factor in deciding if surgery is appropriate. And in fact, repairing rather than removing the meniscus can actually prevent other issues in the future. Trying to save that meniscus saves that cushion, prevents some of that arthritic changes down the road within their knee, and can be very beneficial for them. That's something Stephen is counting on, considering everything he's already been through. You don't realize uh, how important it is getting around until you are immobilized, until you can't get around. At Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.